Hello, my name is Dark Moon Doll, and on Wednesdays I do this show called Free From Dreadlock Talk. Free From Dreadlock Talk is a show where I share with you my experiences with having free from dreadlocks thus far for 18 years. July, I'll be celebrating my 19 year anniversary having free from dreadlocks. Having said that, um, I want to talk to you about different types of uh, plant materials you can use to nourish your dreadlocks to keep them healthy and strong. I always believe that it's important to eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables as much as you can and that helps to nourish you from the inside out and promotes very healthy free-form dreadlocks. Another thing that I've recently found out about specific uh, these specific uh, vegetable materials like beets. I found out the beets, juicing the beets and adding it to your hair can stimulate hair growth and uh, nourish your scalp. So a few days ago I bought just one beet and I juiced that up with my juicer and I added it to rosemary and uh, black tea. And so I had this really dark reddish concoction poured that over my head, you know, several times and just left it on there. I never rinse out my um I never rinse out my hair rinses because I feel like it nourishes and conditions and conditions my hair. So therefore I don't need to oh, like a mosquitoes in here, jeez. <laughs> therefore I don't need to like put oils and conditioners on my scalp or my hair because the uh, herbs and spices and now roots <laughs> nourish it. And so I don't need all of that. And the other nourishing thing that I can do is just incorporate, like I say, more fruits and vegetables into my diet, um, which I have been doing. I'm not completely raw. That's, uh, that's a goal, <laughs> eventually. I was there before, a long time ago, and I was fruitarian uh, for quite a while at one point. But circumstance, circumstances changed, and here I am right now. So I'm just working where I'm at. <laughs> But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is nourish yourself from the inside out and if you want to put something on the outer to keep it healthy, look into all these plants. I mean, there's so many plants out in Mother Nature that can nourish you. And there's a lot of things that are put in bottles and containers that all don't always have what they say on the container. And a lot of times you can see all this stuff in there, but... Do really know that's the true plant matter that's in these um, these products. So yeah, I I decided to do this with my freeform dreadlocks, um, no shampoo. Um, the only thing that I do once a month is a deep cleansing with uh, baking soda water and then apple well not apple cider vinegar. I've been using white vinegar, white vinegar and water. And you can learn more about that on my other videos, the freeform dreadlock talk shows. But yeah, um, I try to keep things simple. Uh, simple for me is the key. And that is the ul that's the ultimately the reason why I decided to let my hair just do what it naturally does. Let it style itself. I mean, like today, look at it. It's just, that's how it is. When I woke up, that's how it was. I didn't have to, like, put anything on it or uh, poke and prod at it with a curling iron or a or a blow dryer or whatever. This is just my own natural hair and how it is forming out of my scalp. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's show today. Um, yeah, I was going to think about putting up more dreadlock beads, but I won't put those up unless anybody's interested because I posted them on my shop and I didn't get much of a response. So I'll just use them for my other artistic projects, unless anybody requests that specifically. And if you are interested, leave your comment below. <laughs> but thank you everybody for joining me today for this show for Freeform Dreadlock Talk. I hope this helps people out there, uh, and I'll have more information coming forth to you from just my own personal experience. You know, that's what it's all about, just sharing what I know. And then we can share with each other. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you everybody for liking and sharing these videos with your friends and family. Thank you for your kind comments and I'll see you soon. Peace.